Hi, I'm Michelle Onafre with International Mountain Connection. Welcome to Mountain Madness. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about the word lost and three different ways that we use the word lost. So first, what is lost? Lost is when we don't know where we are. If we use the verb to be before lost, like I am lost, it means in this moment, right now, I do not know where I am. We can also say I was lost for the past. And if I call Mountain Rescue, I can say, help, I am lost. <laughs> Please find me. It means that where I am right now, I have no idea how to find my car or how to get home. So I am lost or yesterday, he was lost. But if I say I get lost, that means that I become lost. It's an event that happens again and again and again and again. For example, Brian. Brian gets lost when he goes for a hike. So, Often, Brian gets lost. It's not one time that Brian is lost. He gets lost almost every time he is in the mountains. Now, I'm not going to call Mountain Rescue and say, Hi, I get lost. Because if you say that, they will tell you Okay, um, thank you for sharing that information. You should take a class to learn how to read a map, but this phone is used exclusively for emergencies. So have a nice day. Goodbye. <sighs> they aren't going to help you because you said that you get lost not that you are lost right now. So those are two big differences. Are you lost now or do you get lost often? Sometimes I get lost when I am rock climbing and I can tell you it's not a good idea. <laughs> or maybe you get lost when you go on hikes and sometimes a two hour hike takes five hours because you can't find the car because you get lost, you become lost. But in this moment right now, hopefully you are not lost. Now the third way to use lost is actually in an idiom. And an idiom is when we use words that are familiar, but when we put them together, there's a new meaning or a new definition that is something completely different. So someone can say to you, get lost. Now, normally when they say this, they are not smiling. <laughs> it's more like, get lost. Does that help you? Well, if someone says, get lost, they aren't saying go somewhere that you don't know where you are. They're not telling you to become lost somewhere. They're telling you they want you to leave. So this is not a very polite expression, but if someone wants you to leave, they might say, get lost. So it's not the same thing as 
uh, becoming lost in the city or in the mountains, they're asking you to leave. So these are three different ways that we use lost. And yes, there are other ways. We're only talking about three today. But the first way is to say we are lost right now in a specific event or in the past in a specific event. I am lost now or I was lost yesterday. Or number two, we say to get lost and that means that it happens again and again. I get lost when I am hiking in the fog or I get lost when I don't have a map or maybe with a map. I don't know. And then the third, when we say get lost and really someone is just asking you to leave. Well, not really asking. They're telling you, yeah, it's not very nice, but three different ways to use lost. And if you want to know when the next video comes out from International Mountain Connection, you just need to click on the subscribe button and the bell. And remember, why trust International Mountain Connection with your English training? Because Brian isn't in the kitchen. He's getting lost in the mountains. I will see you next time. Bye. Have a good day.